All right, guys, it's Sean Lowry here, and today we're going to be doing a little pond hopping, guys. Got my gear right here, my book sack. Got me a couple rods right here, spinning reel and a bait caster. We're walking down here in these woods. There's a pond back here, guys. We're going to go back here, see if we can get on them, guys. I'm going to be hopping around a few ponds today. That's what, that's what my plan is today, do some little bit of pond hopping today, guys, and see if we can put some big ones on the bank, guys. We're going to get back at y'all with some fish here in a little bit. Almost here. That clearing right up there. This is where the pond's at, that little opening up there. All right, here it is guys, here's the pond. And I haven't been back in this here pond since. But there's a good sign right there, that bird up on the edge. It might be a little bit of bait on the edge, but I haven't been in this here pond since the flood. Since we got one that last, that last bad flood we had, cause all this right here was underwater that you'll see right here. All this here was underwater. And I put my boat in last time down the road there and paddle down in here. I didn't even catch nothing that day, didn't get no bites. I mean, it was just overflowing the rivers right, right, the rivers right here on, alongside of it, down there in the woods, there the river runs beside of it, and it was just flowing in here, guys, like I say. And I don't know if it's messed up the fishing or what, but we're about to find out what they're gonna get on. I'm gonna choose which baits I'm gonna use in here, and we're gonna get started. Hey guys, brought my little, got my little pack here with a couple little things that I ain't wanna bring much with me because, like I say, here pond fishing, I got a couple different baits right here. Like I say, my white spinner bait. I know I have it on me. I got my got this right here, sexy dog right here, strike king right here. I might end up throwing it, but I might just start out with the buzz bait just to see if they're biting on top. I know it's a little bit later in the day. It's probably about 8:30 now, so I kind of uh, overslept a little bit this here morning. I was laying around this right here morning. I say today's Father's Day, and uh, like I said, I was laying around a little bit this morning. Didn't really want to get up and get out. But uh, we're going to make it happen today, guys. We're going to put some fish on the boat. I mean, in, on the bank today, guys. I'm going to use the buzz bait. I'm going to throw my trailer hook on here. Throw a trailer hook on this buzz bait. We're going to tie this baby on, and we're going to get at it. First thing we're going to use is the buzz bait this morning. I'm going to kind of cycle through, cycle through my baits this morning, guys. And just find out maybe what they want. You know, they might not want this buzz bait here. First, you know, it's kind of sun's kind of got up and everything, so they might not want this buzz bait. But we're gonna, like I say, the only way to find out is to throw this baby. And we're gonna make some casts along the edge with this baby and see if we get any action. Guys, I'm going to my bag of worms here. Let's see which ones I'm gonna try. I want to probably try something with watermelon in it. Yeah, watermelon, this color right here. I'm gonna try this color here. This Ocho, this watermelon with red flake. A little bit smaller presentation. Finesse presentation. We're gonna see if we can get them bad boys to jump on this wacky worm. And I'm gonna be fishing it weightless, guys. I'm gonna be just be fishing this here, this here wacky worm weightless right here. Let's say a little four inch Ocho, watermelon. We hit the red flag, daddy. <laughs> I'm just gonna be, I just got me just a little small. Save that little worm there. I can get that to my buddy Lee. He can make me some more worms. I'm just gonna hook this baby wacky style, guys. And we're gonna get at it. I'm turning right back. I'm coming right here to the next spot, guys. I'm gonna start out with the, with the worm. This next spot, straight with the worm on the next spot. I got all the way to the other side. Like I say, hopefully we can, uh, oh, I got a bite. He's running with it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that was a brim or that was a bite. Yeah, we just dropped right down there in the water. I'm gonna, oh, I just felt one just hit it. One's got it, guys. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what we got here, Daddy. Oh yeah, it's a bass, Pa. It is a bass, Daddy. Ain't a big one. See, I got my drag. Like I said, I ain't got an eight pound test line on here, so I got my drag rip fairly loose. Come here, Daddy. Yeah, come here, Papa. He munched. He munched that wacky. What's got him right in the top of the lip, guys? Right in the, top of the roof of the mouth, right there. So what's got him at? Check it out, Pa. <laughs> you gonna pop this baby out of here? We're gonna get back to fishing. First bass out of the 
First bass today, pond hopping, guys. Pretty little bass, Daddy. He looks like a little river bass, too, son. All right, guys, first little bass right here pulled up out of the pond right here. Guys, got him on that four inch Ocho Worm watermelon red. So now we know there's bass in here, guys. We can get back to fishing pond. There's this little bass in here. There gotta be some big ones in here, guys. But we're gonna get yeah, back bye at bye, it. Buddy. Good guy, cutting up some. Like I said, I got him off that four inch Ocho Worm, guys. Now that we know there's a little bit of bass in here, we're gonna scope around and see if we can get a little bit bigger ones on the pole, guys. Like I say, if any of y'all watching this here video, and y'all got some ponds that y'all want me to go hit at. Right now I'm fishing at, uh, I'm here at Deep Branch, behind Deep Branch Schoolhouse. If y'all got any ponds y'all want me to come hit up, or y'all know where some fish is that y'all want me to come hit up, drop them down in the comments or message me, guys. If y'all don't, don't want nobody to know where they're at, message me and let me know, guys. I might come fish a pond near you. Guys, I want to give a shout out to Hunting Life on YouTube, guys. Like I say, he's the one who told me to come out here and fish at the, the pond here behind Deep Branch, guys. So that's what I'm doing today. And one of my goals, what my goal is gonna be is to try to catch a bass today out of all the little holes I hit up. So right now, this has been a success so far. This little hole, even though it was a small bass, been a success so far, but that's gonna be my little plan and uh, fish it out here. Okay, there he is, there he is. Go right there at the bank, daddy, yes. Yes, look at her, yee. <laughs> and another thing guys i ain't even got a trailer hook on this bad boy pa look at her my trailer i have my um i brought a trailer hook with me but i just brought look at her little little fighter right there good good god of mine he's feisty little bass right there daddy check him out i don't have a trailer hook on my spinner bait i had one on my buzz bait i reckon when i threw my buzz bait i didn't put my trailer hook on good and i threw it off for some kind of reason but look at her bam he hit it right at the bank he must have been following that bad boy we're gonna throw him back. We're gonna get back. Turn this bad boy back loose. Second bass today, guys. Pond hopping. Like I say, he's a he's a little one too, daddy. Bye bye, buddy. Like I say, hit that spinner bait too, guys. I mean, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good size, pretty good size spinner bait right there for that little bass coming around and hit it. Like bass now, they they're brave. They hit something now. They hit something. They come up to some if it's bigger than them, they will still plow at it. You know what I'm saying? Hit at it, mess with it, but uh. Like I said, they're predator fish, you know what I'm saying? That's what they do, but we're gonna get back at it, guys. Like I say, it's looking good out here. I'm gonna fish this here pond, fish around this pond for a little bit more, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave this pond and go ahead and hit up some other spots that I usually fish and see if we can pick some fish up, guys. Like I said, I'm just gonna pick a couple fish up from each place that I go, you know what I'm saying? Maybe trying to use a little bit different baits or whatever, but I'm gonna get at it. All right, I'm back in the box again, y'all. Put this 60 dog on by Strike King, guys. This is a bait by Strike King right here. We're gonna. I'm gonna tie this baby on. I'm gonna rig this baby up right quick. I'm fishing with monofilament line. Sometimes it takes more shaking. There he goes right there. Come right out. Get a cast. Oh, sh look. Goo. Y'all just see what happened, guys. I must have didn't tie that knot worth a damn. Good lord. Just threw my sexy dog off, guys. See it over there floating? Lord. Spinner bait on guys. I'm gonna try to throw this spinner bait out there and hook this sexy dog guys. I said I just threw it off. We're gonna get out there. See if I can hook it with this spinner bait. I say all I gotta do is bring the line kind of right across it. And I can probably end up hooking it with the line. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. She's coming. That spinner bait's pulling it every cast. I'm kind of hitting it and pulling it. Look, it's on that line. See it's on that caught, caught on that line. She's coming on in, guys. I'm bringing it on in, Pa. Got two baits working there at the same time. It would be something if a fish would come out there and bite it now. <laughs> bringing it on in. Check it out, Pa. Yee! Yeah, got it right on back, guys. I say tie that spinner bait on, threw it out there. Got this sexy dog on back. We're going to put her back in the box, guys. I believe we might need to leave on that note. I think we're going to leave on that. All right, guys. That's the first pond down, guys. Like I say, caught two bass. I had the first pond there. Almost lost one of my lures. Had to get it back. Y'all seen that there. But we're going to do pond hopping today, guys. Like I say, going to the next spot. I ain't 100% sure exactly what ponds I'm going to be hitting. But like I say, when I get on the road, I'm going to find out. Like I say, some of the ponds I've probably been to before. Stuff like that there. But we're going to go maybe try some different techniques and then some of the same ponds out of fish. See what the deal is. We might even go by the river, guys, and check the, uh, check the river out and see if we can pull anything up out of there, guys. But... All right, guys, we're pond hopping today, guys. We're on to the next spot here. Let's see, I'm right side the interstate right here, guys. We're going to be fishing the Loma River. It's to the left of me right here in these, in these little patch of woods right here. I got to walk down the trail right here, get to the Loma River, and we're going to be uh, 
We're gonna be trying to get us a bass today out of the Lumber River, guys. We're gonna fish it, and then I'm gonna make the way I'm gonna go fish the pond here at Luther Brick Park. We're gonna make our rounds, and we're gonna go hit up another spot, guys. Like I say, pond hopping today. Out here on Father's Day today, guys. I like to say I'm kind of, kind of contributing this video to my dad. I say he loved to fish, so uh, I'm gonna be going around fishing different places today, seeing what kind of bass I can pull up. Like I say, I'm about to get at it. We're here, oh, look at that. We're right there behind me back here. I don't know if y'all can see that snake just crossed, going across right there on your screen right there. He just went across. He's back there behind them trees right there. Good sized snake right there too. Mike, see if we can catch him right quick, Paul. All right, guys, down here on the river, man, haven't had much luck. It's really it's extremely high. There's the bank, that them line of trees that you see right there. That's the regular bank. The line of trees right there that you see, that's the regular bank that you would be standing on throwing out there in the river. Now, look, all this water, it's all the way, like I say, it's real high. All that rain we're getting, getting this past week is kind of flooding down here. Swimming this bad boy across the bottom here. Let's get a little further out there. But Mike could still end up getting one to jump on this bad boy. Look at our God and Pop. God and look. Good God of my. Did y'all see that? Something right there. Look at that. Good. Check it out, Pa. Something in a bag. But I just pulled this up on that hard head, guys. I know y'all just seen y'all just pulled this up here on the hard head, guys. I'll check it out right there. This bag right here, I haven't messed with it or anything. There's something inside of it. Kind of looks kind of freaky looking. Whatever it is, it's kind of hard. It's in that bag. I really don't want to grab it and open it up, but we're going to open it up. We're going to see what's inside this thing. We're going to look together and see what's inside this right here thing. It looks kind of, kind of freaky looking. That's what I pulled up so far, guys. Like I said, I don't know exactly what it is. This little piece here is sticking out of there. And it's kind of hard. Whatever it is, it's kind of hard. It's in a bag. And I'm not sure what this here thing is. We're gonna break it apart and see what it is. As I'm uncovering this here thing, guys, and it is getting freakier, freakier by the second, Paul. Check this right here, right? This is what's in this bag right here that I, that I found. Like I say, I don't even know, guys, for straight up. I mean, straight up, it's, I mean, it's hard, whatever it is. I don't know if this here thing is a, I have no clue. It looks kind of good. It don't, it looks crazy, Pa. I don't know exactly what this thing is. I mean, this here thing looks freaky looking, guys. I just pulled this bad boy up. All right, guys, I'm just pulling this thing up, guys. I'm trying to get it out of this bag. This thing looks freakier by the second when I'm uncovering it, guys. This here, it's wild, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this, like I said, I reckon you never know what you'll find fishing, but I hung this here on my, on my lure, guys. I hung it on my lure. I don't know if y'all can see it real good, but check it out Bob. I mean what do y'all think like I said I've got a part of it out the back I'm going to uncover the rest of it this thing looks like an evil little frog or something like I say I don't know what this right here thing is I'm going to uncover the rest of it guys and see what's happening like I say this is kind of weird right here like I say you never know what you'll come across this evil guy. evil little frog or something son it just looks like it wants to come up I found this in this bag guys this is this is crazy Pa. Be waiting for like a little frog leprechaun or a little evil, evil little frog. Look at his son, dude. Somebody had a reason why they backed this bad boy up through the river. I mean, look at it, it is evil looking. We're gonna get it on out of here, see what to do. All right, guys, look, that's what I found, Pa. That's what was in that bag, Daddy, that I pulled up, guys. It's some kind of evil looking frog type thing here. I don't know. It was in a bag. Like I don't know if somebody, somebody just threw it out because they was kind of kind of scared of this here thing or something. Because the eyes on it look kind of freaky looking. I mean, you never know what you'll find in the river. And like I say, look at it. I don't know what kind of what it's for. It might actually jump up and bite me or something. Like I say, I didn't know what this thing was when I was pulling out the bag, guys. But it's some kind. Of, it's kind of heavy too. I don't know what it's made of, but it's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy too. We're gonna be white sunk to the bottom. Pull that bad boy up right there. Somebody didn't like it and got rid of it. I see it's got a lot of detail on it too now. I say she's heavy. I don't know if it's made out of marble or what it's made out of, some heavy material, but we're gonna put it in my bag. I don't know if this thing's bad look. I don't know if I need to keep it or what, but we're gonna find out, pa. All right, guys, I'm making our way from the river, guys. 
it was a uh, kind of crazy like I said that creature that we caught there i don't know really what to think about that thing somebody had a reason to throw that thing in the water like they did in that bag wrap it up in that bag and throw it in the water like that there so y'all go down in the comments and let me know why y'all think somebody would throw that thing away you know what i'm saying i don't know if it was bad luck or even if i needed to keep it or not but we're gonna go to the next pond here oh good god we're gonna go to the next pond here I don't know, boy. This is getting a little freaky about a moment right here. Check this right here out. Up oh. on this sign here. Look, six, six, six. I ain't superstitious. I ain't really superstitious or anything. Like I said, it's on them steps right there behind me as I was walking out of here. I ain't superstitious or anything, but kind of weird right here in this spot. We're about to get up out of here, Pa. I'm about to get in this pond and go to fishing, Daddy. We're going to see you. This. I might have end up chunking that damn frog in the water somewhere again. <laughs> if any, if I end up getting bad luck. If I don't catch no fish today, that frog is going back in the water somewhere, guys. All right, guys, he bit again. There's that one that I lost. I think that's the one I lost, that bass right there. There's a good little pound and a half. He's kind of slim fish right there. Bit that swing head paw. First bass out of the swing head in this little pond here. I'm fishing. I'm going to give it a few more casts in this pond. I'm going to move to the next pond. We're a pond hopping today, pa. Trying to get him today, daddy. And this bass here, we're about to turn him loose, but look at him, pa. Something got him on the side right there. Something got brushed up on his side right there. I got him on the side right there. I'm going to turn this bad boy back loose, daddy. Appreciate the, appreciate the service there, buddy yeah swimming on off he's back at it guys like i say got him on that uh got him on that menace guys he threw my he threw my bait off i'm gonna get another one out got him on that menace on that swim head jig guys awesome hit good way to fish guys like i say kind of you know kind of impressed the way this here bait fishes like i said i got fished it yesterday actually for the first time yesterday which i'm gonna be having a uh, youtube video dropping sooner but yesterday like i say had a great time yesterday using the jig now i'm using it in the pond it's working in the pond and like I say, awesome time. We're going to get back at it, guys. This is what we're, what the lake's looking like. Beautiful day today. Great day to be out fishing, guys. And like I say, we're about to get back at it, Pa. All right, guys, we're coming to the next pond here. Caught one bass out of that pond there. Had some good hits and everything. You know what I'm saying? Got one bass out of that pond there. Coming to the next pond over here. Somebody here at Luther Rick Park coming to the next pond. We're going to hit it up, see what it's about, guys. I'm going to use that hard hit some out here, too. I say some people swimming across the way over there. A little windy out here. My battery's getting ready to go dead on my phone and my gopro guys so i'm gonna have to charge both of them right there if i'm a fish until maybe my gopro goes dead i'm taking a little break i say it's hot up out here taking a little break sun's kind of getting me through the, the holes in my hat right here i gotta get me a new hat y'all this right here's look at this coming all apart but we get out here and do some fishing guys i said hopefully we can drag some on the bank i'll let y'all know what happened <laughs> check it out paul my gopro went dead guys i was actually walking to the car cars right there i decided to throw the working worm wacky worm in guys first cast with that baby look Look how that wacky worm, I barely did have that baby hook, Pa. He almost come off nice bass right there too, guys. Like I say, ended up getting one out of every pond, guys. Every pond of the fish, instead of, except the river and the creek. Like I say, the river was a little high. The creek was like a surprise. But so far, every pond we hit today, guys, put a bass out there. Look that fat mama. Our first cast out there with the wacky worm, he peeled it, Pa. I should have been using the wacky worm the whole time I was fishing, guys. So we're going to throw him back. We might throw a couple more times first cast i can't believe it that's something right there bam we're gonna throw this baby back we'll get back to fishing guys appreciate y'all watching the video guys we'll see y'all on the next one all right guys we're gonna turn this bad boy back here loose last catch of the day guys like i say got him with the first cast with the wacky worm going back to the vehicle guys we're gonna turn him loose we're gonna let this baby loose we're gonna let him go back where he come from he swam right off cool like i did our first cast out there guys nailed that wacky worm i should have probably been throwing the wacky worm the whole time like i said that was the first cast in this pond with the wacky worm i mean he jumped right on it took right off with it guys like i say appreciate y'all watching guys like i said if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet subscribe to the youtube channel guys and remember any day is a great day to get out and let's go fishing guys enjoyed it and we'll see y'all on the next one all right guys i'm really leaving now y'all just see me y'all actually see me catch that last fish but i ended up catching the bass out of this pond on the wacky worm first cast was walking to the car to put my stuff up first cast out there got one guys like i said hope y'all so hope y'all enjoyed the video guys and i reckon that that little toad that i found earlier really wasn't bad luck like i say really didn't curse me too bad i still caught fish today so uh like i say appreciate y'all for watching guys like I say and drop some comments guys let me know where you'd like to see me fish at next what ponds y'all have in mind y'all want me to go try out you know what i'm saying what to throw in some of these ponds or i just pick some stuff to throw when i get there but appreciate y'all watching the video guys i'm about to head out it's time to eat something pa i'm about to head out guys appreciate y'all watching and i definitely need to get a new hat pa i'm still getting some sunburn you know what i'm saying sun's getting all through this hat but appreciate y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one